homeschool week. We had a, such a fun week because we started homeschooling this week. So that's always good. It always feels good to get back in the routine of things, whether it's, you know, working back full time or sending your kids back to school full time or homeschooling full time. It's just always nice to get back in a normal routine because summers are crazy around here. So anyways, I hope y'all had a great week. I love talking to y'all in the comments below. So let me know your favorites and what y'all did this week and all that kind of stuff in the comments because I've had, I just love the interaction. I say that all the time. You'll probably get sick of it. So I have a few favorites this week and then a few things that I've found that are kind of close to duplicate or dupes or whatever you want to call them. And then, okay, let's just get started in this. Um, do y'all like my new background? Okay, I had to get something like a shelving unit because the top of my vanity table was getting way too cluttered. So I got that shelf and then, I don't know, I just threw up those Christmas lights. I thought it looked pretty. And in my room with just the Christmas lights and that Scentsy warmer on, I love it. The ambiance of the room is so relaxing. You know, like the lighting. I just love it. I got that, like I said, that Paris Scentsy or Eiffel Tower Scentsy warmer. Obviously, I got it from Scentsy. I love Okay, don't get me wrong, I love candles, and I'm so excited because Bath & Body Works just brought out their fall candles. But, I like the Scentsy Warmer too because it's decorative, and I think it's a little bit safer because it's not like a flame, obviously. I'm just going to mention real quick, y'all have been liking it when I've mentioned like my random favorites. If y'all have not, if you have a Scentsy Warmer and you haven't tried the Scentsy Bar in Blueberry Cheesecake, you have to get this. Seriously. If you like Scentsy, try Blueberry Cheesecake. It is so good. I, I don't even like cheesecake or blueberries, but I love this bar. I buy it over and over and over again. This is the only one that I consistently buy over and over again. I don't sell Scentsy. I'm not having a party. I don't like stuff like that. But if you don't know anyone that um, sells it, one of my subscribers, Nancy, does. So I'll leave her info and all of that below in the description box. Okay, let's move on. I busted out something that I haven't used in like nine months this week and it's the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. I'm in the shade Light 46. It's what I have on today. My skin's been going through some kind of randomness. It, it's not breakouts per se, but I've been having a lot of hyperpigmentation issues and redness. So this baby right here, you don't even need concealer. I'm not wearing concealer like on any spots today. You literally use one pump. The best way for me to apply it is with a beauty blender because I do have drier skin. I feel like the beauty blender just blends it in well, better than a brush and it seems to not look so cakey with the beauty blender but I have loved this this week. The CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation is kind of the same as this one. This one has a little bit more coverage and lasts a little bit longer on my face but that's what made me want to break this out this week because I've been loving the CoverGirl one so much so love Kat Von D. Okay and then I just hauled this Eye Duty Triple Remedy Eye Cream. Now I've said this before, I don't have a lot of dark circles under my eyes. Um, so for me this is a necessity but I definitely definitely can see if you suffer from under eye circles because it's like a salmon -y, I don't know even if that's the word, a salmon -y, type concealer it will correct that darkness under your eyes drives me insane with the um the cap because it gets so stinking dirty it just it makes me crazy but um besides that i do like it it's kind of like an eye cream and a correcting cream in one. So I recommend this if you're someone who suffers from dark circles. I will use it. I like I like it. I'm not going to return it, but I probably won't repurchase it. Okay. I was so excited about this next thing that I've been loving, and it's not this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio. What I usually do with this palette is I set under my eyes with this one. I highlight with this one, and then I use this one to bronze up my face. 
So I was like, you know what? I wonder if I have anything in my collection that resembles the one I used to set under my eyes and is more affordable. So you will not believe this is like $3.99 at the drugstore. It's Wet n Wild's Reserve Your Cabana. It says it's a bronzer and everybody else uses it as a highlight. I don't feel like this gives me any real shimmer or real big highlighting effect under my eyes, but it, this, the one in the, the hourglass is a little bit pinker toned, but this one works so good to set under your eyes. And I honestly feel like it fills in my pores. I have bigger pores in the center of my face. I take my... I take my L or my Real Techniques setting brush and I set my concealer all up under there with this Reserve Your Cabana. I, I definitely would say if you're a darker skin tone, it won't work. Well, I mean, probably light to medium, but I swear this stuff is the bomb. You know, I even like dusted it in my T-zone a couple of days this week and I just feel like it's a good setting powder and I never hear people like say that, but that's what I've been using, y'all. Okay, so on my eyes, I used one single thing every day this week that I wore makeup. And I don't wear makeup every day, by the way. We did our day in the life of our homeschool on, we did the vlog on Wednesday. It'll be up for Mommy Monday. You'll see. I don't wear makeup every day, girl. But every day that I did wear makeup last weekend and during this week, I used this one MAC Pro Long Wear shadow in uninterrupted it's a bit it's it's a bigger shadow it's so ugly but honestly in the crease and I have it in my crease today I really 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 like it and I was like you know what I have something else that's similar to that so I looked and in my Bobbi Brown palette the color camel look how similar these two shades are I mean I seriously feel like they're dead on those two shades. Amazing. Oh my gosh. You do not need both of them for sure. The MAC is cheaper. Um, so, and it's so close that I don't think it really makes that much of a difference, but the Camel is a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more blendable, but I mean, seriously, this is Bobbi Brown's Camel and this is MAC Interrupted. They are so darn close that I wanted to share that with y'all because if, you don't, if you've don't, if you been wanting Camel, you might need to build up the MAC Interrupted a little bit to get the shade desired, but honestly, I would just get the MAC one. It's not a significant difference in price, but if you wanna save a couple dollars and just get the MAC one, surely, I mean, you don't need both unless you're an addict like, like me, you know, but that color specifically, either one of them is so beautiful in the crease. I cannot get enough of it. And then, okay, my friend, Samantha, she's a subscriber of mine and we've met and everything. She's my friend, honestly, now through YouTube, what, what? And um, she was showing me some of her sleep palettes that she just ordered and it reminded me to get mine out. Now, these palettes are amazing. I'm just gonna touch a couple of these shadows, barely touch them, and look at the pigmentation. It is amazing. So, I have used some of these colors on my lids and just played with them. They have, I have an all matte palette. I have this one, which is, I believe this is mostly, yeah, this is all shimmers, except for the black is a matte. But I've loved this palette this week. This is what I have on this pinky one and this bronze color on my lids today. And I've really just enjoyed the sleek makeup. I, it's awesome. It's cheap. Um, and, you know, I mean, you have to pay for it to get shipped because it's an overseas brand. But I really, really have enjoyed it. Next, let's talk about my cheeks. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I have ever been this excited about a blush and I wanted to show it to you all today because it's limited edition um I know they're releasing it they released it this week at some point in the Mac stores it's still online as of right now on Mac 
and you can get it on Nordstrom, but I can't even with this blush. I will say this is probably more for light to medium skin tones. It is from the Novel Romance Collection in the color Fun Ending. I can't. I just can't even. It's what I have on my cheeks today. I absolutely love it. I got this morph brush in my boxy charm and that's what I've used it for is to apply this powder blush. I used it to bronze up my face one day too. This is probably a favorite. Also, it's the Morph or Morphe brush S19. These are so amazingly soft. But anyways, back to the original subject. This blush is so amazing. I I, there's there's no words and even whenever I swatch it you're gonna be like girl please that is just another blush it is so beautiful it's a mix between I don't even know I ain't even gonna go there I can't even describe it but on your cheeks I just love it like I'm almost gonna say I like it as much as Chanel's accent. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why I always like limited edition stuff the most, but if I get into a Mac store, I'm gonna pick up a backup because it's amazing. I'm gonna just show y'all, since we're on this subject, a little, little bitty haul, because I did get a couple of things from the Mac collection, the Novel Romance collection. I got this other blush, which I haven't used yet. It's called Animal Instincts. I just thought it was a really pretty color for the fall and winter really it's it's really pretty um so I will show y'all that it's it's kind of it says it's a frost I've never even heard of that I got some of the eyeshadows too but I'm taking them back because they're all way 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 just I don't like them but there is that blush I figure that would be perfect in the fall winter you do have to build it up some if you had to pick between the two Oh my gosh, this fun ending is amazing. I will definitely let y'all know in the next few weeks after I use this what I think of it. But I also picked up the lipstick in myself. It's a luster finish. It's what I have on my lips today. I have on this MAC strip down liner, which this, I mean, this has been in my favorites a million times. This is like a must have liner for MAC. But this lipstick feels so good. I'm sure it's because it's a luster formula and when I when you swatch it, it doesn't when you swatch it, it doesn't look amazing, but it feels so good. It's just oh, I can't. I didn't even think I was going to like this stuff that much. It's one where you don't have to wear a gloss over it. You can put a lot of different lipsticks. I mean, I want to say that this blush and this lipstick from this collection is just it just called for me to buy it. I'm not even kidding right now. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it so much. So, I did pick another lipstick up. I know, I know. And a lip gloss because I was like, oh my gosh, I need that for the winter. You know how it goes. Hearts of Flame is this lipstick. And it is a matte lipstick. And, whoo, the bam color. Oh my gosh. It's so highly pigmented. And I probably won't wear this for a month or so. Because it's definitely like a more fall winter shade. But look at that color. It's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of a redder, raspberry -er version of Rebel. Does that make any sense at all? Probably not, but I'm excited I got that. And then the last thing I got for, oh my God, this is turning into a haul. I got Talk Sexy Gloss um, because I honestly don't have any glosses in this, this shade. I don't know if you want to call it like a berry shade or what you want to call it. Y'all know I'm not good at describing stuff, but I will show y'all. There it is right there. I figured with fall time coming up, it'll be great to have with all of those berry toned lip colors because I love that color in the fall. And then I think that's it. You know what? I did try, I got this as a sample in a Sephora purchase. And let me show it to y'all. It's the Marc Jacobs Makeout Lip Lock. And it's just a little mini cutest thing ever in the world. Um, chapstick balm type thing. And I've used this every day. Um, I love, I, I prefer the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, but if that's too heavy for you for daytime use, this baby right here is awesome. I really like it. I would consider buying the full size. Kind of reminds me of the Fresh 
sugar lip balms, um, but not as creamy. It's a little bit, it seems like it's a little bit tackier and it really hydrates and sticks to your lips and keeps them moisturized longer. So yeah, check that out if you are looking for, if you're in the market for a lip, daytime lip balm. And that is it for my favorites this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what you've been loving for the week and what else? Any more info? Tomorrow I have my Ipsy bag going up and then Monday is a day in our homeschool life. So I'm excited for that. And the next week I'm doing my Bobby Brown video too. So, um, and part two of that haul that I did last week. Oh my gosh, I know. Ah, I'm going crazy. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.